Thank you for being here at 5 o'clock. I'm Erin Christie. First tonight, a veteran Creek County teacher and coach is under arrest, accused of taking video in a boys' locker room while students were changing. I went out to Bristow today to learn more about the arrest of Floyd Robinson. Prosecutors charged 74-year-old Floyd Robinson with three counts of peeping Tom, possessing child pornography and computer violations after, according to the affidavit, 12 Bristow Middle School students wrote statements claiming they witnessed Coach Rob recording them in the locker room Monday morning. They say he was holding the phone to his hip and they saw the red record button. Robinson was well known in the community because he worked for Bristow Public Schools for such a long time, holding several roles from wrestling coach to teacher to leadership positions within the athletic department. Robinson told detectives it was an accident and that he didn't know his phone was recording that similar incidents have happened before. But the affidavit indicates students have had uncomfortable encounters in the past, like Robinson requiring wrestlers to weigh in naked and coming in to check weight when that is not required. I had some concerns with this previously. While at the police station, we ran into a concerned grandmother who didn't want us to show her face on camera, but told police she complained to Bristow Middle School weeks ago. Asked some questions to the principal and because my grandchild felt like he was being videoed taking a shower. He told me that he would give due process to the coach and to um, he would speak to him and he there would be a review or investigation about it and he applauded me for being a voice. She also said another grandson left the district due to concerns with Robinson. While the affidavit shows Robinson cooperative, some accounts were contradictory. Robinson told investigators he only goes into the locker room when needed, but also said there is never a need for him in there. Bristow police are asking that any additional potential victims or witnesses to please come forward. Bristow Public Schools posted a statement on Facebook stating they removed the employee immediately when they learned of the situation and notified law enforcement.